answer the question? <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, you know, as far as me, the thing that I uh, think the weaknesses that, and, and the strength that, I, that we worked on is, is pretty much playing together and, and, and implementing pieces. Uh, for as the offense, you know, bringing Brandon Marshall in, um, you know, has opened up uh, our running game. If you look over the first couple of weeks, going against the number one ranked defense, and we would sit there and we run the ball, you know, at will. So uh, our running game has always been there. But for as defense, our defensive scheme has been, uh, Coach Nolan has bought a, a calm to the defense, and the guys uh, can understand exactly what they're doing. Um, when you go back and you look over. Over uh, the course of the last few years, it's been one, two, three different defensive coordinators in and out. So the guys never really had an opportunity to really learn the system because we have a lot of young guys on this football team. And when you're talking about uh, young guys coming into the NFL, you know, it takes them, a, some guys, a little bit longer to learn what they're doing, what they have to do. And over the last few years, it's been somebody in, somebody out, somebody in, somebody out. But now, Coach Mike Nolan has brought in a, 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 a defense that everybody can understand and everybody can, can communicate. And when you can communicate on the football field, it makes you play a lot faster. And I think that's what we've been getting out of our uh, whole defensive squad. Even though they're very young, we're very young football team, no matter whether it's offense, defense, or special team, we're still being very productive. So um, I think uh, the, the coaching staff have really implemented in places uh, uh, young talent, but have put in the, the, the correct scheme to allow these guys to go out and succeed. Um, you know, there's always, a, uh, they always say year after year, you know, we haven't found another damn you know, and things like this in order to make That's going to be hard. That's going to be rough. But I wonder sometimes that we've not found another Don Shula because, you know, uh, Shula seemed to bring the team together in, in a particular way. He seemed to have a good balance he, he, and he seemed to have a, a, a way to, to pick a good talent. Do you think maybe that's also part of the issue? We really haven't found another Shula that we've got some good coaching but not somebody of his caliber? Well, he, well you know, you, the, the, to make a statement like that is kind of a hard statement because you would never find another Dan Marino and you would never find another Don Shula. You would have to use the talent that you have that you accepted in your organization and make this happen. I mean, that's great, let's face it. Before Dan came here, it was Bob Brice. Bob Brice threw 16 passes over the period of uh, the Super Bowl. Not even that, I think it was seven or eight passes. They ran the ball. And when Dan came in, the running game was a miss. And the passing game was a myth. Now, in this situation, they haven't found their identity, what they're trying to do. But for us getting the job done, I think they do have a group of guys that they put out there that can get the job done. And the coaching staff will need to learn how to use them in a better situation. One last hypothetical. If the two of you were able to play tonight, mm -hmm. what would the two of you bring to the team? That would help them win. Gatorade. Gatorade. <laughs> Gatorade and a little bit more trash. Yeah, yeah. 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 Davis can win. Right. Right. What do you think about um, Parcel leaving the team? What, how, do you think it will, how much do you think it will affect the team? Well, but to tell you the truth, um, Parcel came down here and brought a, a big group of people, and that, that the salary that they pay now for the players and all that stuff, and for him stepping down, which means that he wasn't looking at Bill Parcel. Uh, life, he was looking at the team life and what he was trying to accomplish. And I think he did that in order for the better the team, for the free up money, and to get things done. That's just my opinion. Yeah, for real to do what he did in a, in a couple of years, um, if you go back and you look before he got here, you know, we were only winning like one or two or three games. Right. And then all of a sudden, you know, uh, Bill comes down here, he established what it takes, and he brought a, a winning attitude back to this, to this community. Not only the football team, but everybody on the outside understand they feel a certain way about this organization. They they are always gonna love the, the Miami Dolphins, but people are in the stands. I mean, people are enjoying what they're seeing on the field. They are giving us uh, uh, this football team an opportunity to win football games. They're being competitive. Before you would see guys going out there and you know balls flying everywhere, but.
But when Bill steps out there on that football field and those players sit there and they know that he's back there and those Raptors watching, they're going to give 110%. And just by him and, and his name being somewhere in the stadium, those guys are going to go out there and focus because they know they have to go back and they have to deal with somebody. And to add, answer the question when you were talking about Don uh, Shula, that was the same situation. Duke knew that he, once he stepped on that football field, coach uh, wanted him to go and play a certain way. The same thing for me when Jimmy Johnson was here. When Jimmy, when Jimmy was standing on that sideline, I knew he wanted me to play a certain way and I wanted to play a certain way for him. That's the same thing that Coach Parcells brought here. And you can see just the way that these guys are playing over the last two or three years that you're getting that sense that they have that winning tradition. How do you feel about the changes they've made in the stadium where they've kind of brought a South Beach kind of feel here and, and celebrity kind of feel to attract people to the game? Do you think it's a good idea? Yeah, it's a great idea. I mean, listen, I mean, this is South Florida. Uh, I mean, the weather is always great. I mean, it's just, we always going to be here, and, and, and it's just it's just fun. But you know, it's it's, a, it's considered a party. This is a party city. But the fans, the ones that really enjoy everything, are the ones that's in the seat. You know, the people out, uh, you know, in the box, they're going to have their fun in the, in the air conditioned room. But you know, the one when I'm out on that football field, the people that I'm really, you know, I'm caring about everybody. But the one I'm feeding off are the ones that's in those seats. So. To bring everything and to still give us that feel to to pack the stadium and, and to sell out so the people that can't get here, they're still allowed to be able to watch the game. I mean, I think it's great for, for everybody and everybody wins. Thank you. Thanks Thank you, much. gentlemen. Appreciate it.